Welcome to a free on-demand webinar presented by Michigan Alliance for Families. We partner with experts from across the state to offer live webinars to help answer the questions we encounter most frequently. Our webinars are recorded and saved for future viewing. Handouts for our webinars can be requested through our webpage, michiganallianceforfamilies.org forward slash webinar. Remember to keep up with Michigan Alliance for Families on social media and be sure to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. Follow-up questions to this webinar can be directed to us at info at michiganallianceforfamilies.org. Today's webinar is Early on Your Rights with Stacy Rulison. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you, Emily. Good morning and welcome. You have selected a webinar in a series of webinars related to Early on. Early on is Michigan's early intervention program for helping families whose infants and toddlers have developmental delays or are at risk for delays due to certain health conditions. Early on is Michigan's early intervention program covered by the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or often called IDEA. It is part C of this federal law. The purpose of this webinar is to provide you with information related to your, you and your child's rights under law. We'll be covering procedural safeguards today, which is one of four webinars on your rights. In this webinar, we will specifically discuss procedural safeguards and as it relates to laws that protect you and your child. We hope to help you understand more about this important information. Additional webinars will cover other topics discussed within procedural safeguards, including records and confidentiality, parental consent, and prior written notice. There are some objectives we'd like to cover today that will involve procedural safeguards. We would, the participant should be more informed about the rights of families and their child related to early on and procedural safeguards. You should be more informed about primary aspects or components in the procedural safeguards and what their purpose is, and be informed about resources and where to get inf additional information about procedural safeguards and early on. There are also a number of resources that can be helpful in explaining procedural safeguards. The link to Michigan Alliance for Families website is provided with information on knowing your rights for procedural safeguards. Additional links are on this page to early on procedural safeguards protecting families' rights. There is a Family Matters Procedural Safeguards fact sheet and a number of other resources that can be really very helpful and found on this page. Additional rights are also covered in the procedural safeguards and are provided to families at the time of referral. These rights include, but are not limited to, the right to have your child evaluated in the natural environment. This often means in the home or where the child spends the majority of their time. To have an individualized family service plan or often called an IFSP within 45 days of referral. To receive services on the IFSP in a timely manner in the natural environment to the extent possible. To receive services at no cost to the family. To participate in early on at whatever level you decide and must, you must sign the plan for the services to begin and to transition planning and support the child and your family when leaving the early on program. Your family has rights. If your child is eligible or may be eligible for early on services, you have certain rights to ensure that you are receiving quality services. These are designed to meet the needs of your child receiving services with early on, also called Part C of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. This consists of early intervention services for infants and toddlers and their families, and in Michigan, it is provided by Early On. The Early On Your Family Has Rights brochure is, an, is a resource that has a lot of information that may be helpful. It provides information to families about Early On and your rights. It is mailed to families at the time of referral by the Intermediate School dif District, often called ISDs. Procedural safeguards will be covered at your first meeting with your team with the family. The link to the procedural safeguards information at the Michigan Department of Education website is provided on the screen.
The Early On Michigan Family Guidebook is a resource that provides more detailed information about Early On and will step you through the process and provide more information about your rights. The guidebook can also be found at the website for Early On provided on the screen. To define procedural safeguards, procedural safeguards are a part of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act and serve as checks and balances built into the early on, on and special education systems with the purpose of making sure things go as they are supposed to go for your child and the family while protecting their legal rights. As I mentioned earlier, procedural safeguards are part of the federal law Called, called the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, that regulates early on. Their purpose is to protect your rights and ensure that the early on process happens as it is supposed to. You can think of procedural safeguards as checks and balances that are built into, early, into the early on system to help make sure things go well for, and protect you and your child's rights. In, Looking at procedural safeguards, your rights are defined in the procedural safeguards. You must receive a copy of the procedural safeguards and you should be informed about all parts of early on. By learning about your rights, you and the early on system can make sure that you are fully informed and involved in every area of early on. Knowing your rights will support you in making decisions about your child's participation. Your rights will be explained to you and you or your service and your service coordinator will review these rights and you'll be able to ask questions. Your rights and related procedural safeguards begin with your first contact early on and will continue throughout the entire time you are involved in the early on program. Your rights also apply to any paperwork and any time early on interacts with you and your child. As mentioned before, there are a number of resources that can be helpful about procedural safeguards. The Early On Michigan website is provided on the screen. Other resources include Early On, the Michigan Family Guidebook, which we talked about earlier, the Procedural Safeguards Protecting Families Rights document, a list of established conditions, request for state complaint investigation form, an Early On due process complaint procedures form, prior written notice, early on parental consent, authorization to release early on records, early on parental consent for developmental screening, and many more resources. Michigan Alliance for Families is an IDEA grant funded initiative of the Michigan Department of Education, Office of Special Education, and we're Michigan's federally funded Parent Training and Information Center, funded by the U.S. Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs. Follow-up questions to this webinar can be directed to us at info at michiganallianceforfamilies.org or call our 800 number, 1-800-552-4821. Thank you.